Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 framework tutorial. This is our part number 36. Inside this video, we are going to continue all about query builder method. And inside this video, we will see select statements with conditions. Now if I back to the slide. Now here as we can see that we have some select queries. But inside these select queries, we have different different types of conditions. Like in the first query, we have select star from students where id equals to 3 and name equals to abc. It means we are going to select all data set in which we have id equal to 3 and name equal to abc. In the second query, we have id equals to 2 and here we have used and operator and inside this parenthesis we have two different conditions and these conditions are attached with or operator it means anyone will return the true value and this value along with these conditions it is going to select data so how we actually develop these type of query by using query filter method we will discuss inside this video now let's start with the first query so inside this, we have two different conditions and if both conditions will be true, then the data set value will be returned. If anyone tends to false value, then data set value will not be returned. So how can we write? By using query builder method. Back to editor. In the last video, we had seen all about our that is how can we use our query builder method. So in the first way, we need to load our db class and by the help of this db class, we have called the table method. Inside this table method, we need to pass the table name and rest, we have concatenated with different different methods. So let's say that in the first query, how can we write? So if I make comment of this line, let's say that students equal to db class we need to call our table method and inside this we need to pass the table name called students and as we know in the first condition we have id value in the second condition we have the name value and both conditions are attached with and operator so let's say we are, this is for the first condition here id equals to 3 and we are going to concatenate with our rest condition with and operator. So for that, I am going to concatenate with another where method. So inside this, let's say name equals to abc. And finally, either we can use the get method or we can use the first method. So let's say that I am using get method. So behind the scene, this query will return or let's say generates a MySQL query something select star from students where id equals to 3 and name equals to abc. This is what we have written. Now in the next, let's say for the second query, here we have the first condition and in the second condition, we have attached two more condition let's say name equals to abc and email equals to abc at gmail.com. So how can we write? Back to editor. Let's say that I'm going to make comment of this line. Students equals to db. Here we have the table method. And inside this, let's say students. We are going to use the where method. This is for the first condition. And inside first condition, let's say that what we have, we have id equals to 2. So let's say id equals to 2. And the second condition we have attached with AND operator. So we need to use another WHERE method. So let's say WHERE. And inside this, we have two more conditions like name equals to ABC and email equals to ABC and gmail.com. So to write this query, what we will do back here in the second WHERE, simply we need to put a function. This function is going to handle the parenthesis condition. So inside this, let's say query. This is an anonymous function. And finally, 
we need to actually use the get method to take all the data. Now inside this function block, let's say query. Here we have used the where method and inside this where method, we have let's say name equals to ABC. So what I will do, let's say name equals to ABC and in the second, we have the condition which is bind with or method and here email equals to abc at gmail.com so what I will do we have another method called or where here email equals to it is something abc and gmail.com so behind the scene it is going to generate a query something like select all from students where id equals to 2 and because it is concatenated with or method means where method so it is and where name equals to abc or email equals to abc at gmail.com let's generate our third query and this is something select staff from students where name equals to abc or id equals to 3 and email equals to abc at gmail.com so to write this query back to editor and here we are getting errors so this is actually terminate with semicolon save these changes if i make comment of these lines let's declare another variable called students db having to call the table method and inside this table method we have students and keep in mind the condition we have called where name equals to abc so what i will do simply we need to use the where method let's say name equals to abc and in the second we have or operator so to use or operator we need to concatenate with or where method now inside this as we know the rest two conditions inside parenthesis so we need to call inside this function block and inside this function block we need to write two conditions id equals to 3 and and operator so inside this function block let's say query and this query variable should pass inside this function block so query where id equals to let's say we have 3 and we need to concatenate this time with where method because we need to generate the AND operator so inside this let's say email equals to abc at gmail.com and finally terminate with semicolon and finally we need to use either get method or first method so step by step we had seen all about the first query second query and third query now this time we have the clear concept about how to use these types of conditions now in the next we have select star from students where id between 2 and 30 it means it is going to select all the students whose id lies between the value from 2 and 30 so to write this query back to editor make comment of this line so I am commenting these lines let's say that students equal to db here we have the table method next we need to pass the table name and as we know that inside our where condition we are using the between keyword inside this between keyword the it value lies between 2 and 30 so how can we write back here let's say where between next we need to pass the column name so it should be id and in the next making an array and inside this array we need to pass the minimum range and we need to pass the maximum range so the minimum range we have something from 2 and the maximum value should equals to 30 so let's say 2 and 30 and finally we need to use the get method or first method 
if we use the get method it is going to return the collection object otherwise it is going to return the student object so this is what we have used the between keyword inside our query now for the final one we have select all from students where it in 100 110 and 175 it means where id equals to we have let's say 100 and these values so how can we write simply back to editor make comment of this line let's say students equals to db here we need to write the table method inside this we have the table name called students where in first we need to pass the column name and the second we need to pass the values so we need to create an array and inside this we have 1 100 110 and 175 and finally we need to use the get method or first method so inside this video session guys we have created some complex where queries now this time we have the clear concept about how can we make use of our different different conditions now in the next video we will see mysql joins or let's say joins in our laravel 8 so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day